Hey guys, welcome to this Jackson Systems product overview. I'm here with Mark. What are we talking about today? Well, today we've got UEI's Hub 6, which is their smart refrigerant charging system. Okay. Okay. So here's everything is in, in the case here. Uh, we're going to open this up and you can see we've got multiple components here. All right. So let's just kind of, let's take some of these out, just kind of go through what our, okay. what our components are. So what do we so, got? So this is our first item, which is our wireless hygrometer probe. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, designed, and of course, this has got a locking probe to it. So we're going to push this button to release it. Okay. So it, it'll either lock in at a 90 degree or lock out straight. Okay. okay. Just remember to push that button to move it. You've got magnets on the back. Okay. So what these are designed, you've got one for supply and one for return. So we put these in our air system. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to measure temperature and humidity. Uh, so we can get our temperature rise and fall okay, across, across the equipment, you know, sure. whether in heating or cooling. So those can actually be used without the other side of it. So okay. if, all, if, we're setting sure, up a yep, if we're just setting up a furnace and we want to see, okay, what's our rise across the heat exchanger. Sure. Okay. So a couple nice things to point out about this one, this is only a quarter inch probe. Mm -hmm. So it's very small yeah. know, for a hole to, to put in, in our duct. And the fact this is rigid and we put that in a rigid duct, that's going to stay out of the airstream. Sure. Okay, some of the others, it's kind of a flexible one, and there's no magnet, so okay, it's going to lay up against the side of the duct. Mm. Well, maybe you're not getting the best airflow right up against the side of the duct, you know, as we would if we're, we're sticking out in... Sure, know, actually more, out into more, the yeah, stream more, of air. more to the right. stream of air. Okay, so that's for the air side of the system. Okay. okay. Then we've got these two components here that are for the refrigerant side of the system. Okay. Okay, so a couple of nice features. Uh, this swivels 180 degrees. Okay. So when we're going to put this on to our service valve, either our low side or high side, we've got flexibility of where it's going to go. We've added a pass-through port for charging. Sure. Okay. So they don't, so have, you don't to have to add, take it off. Yep. All right. And yeah. the, or they don't have to add a T, gotcha. you know, which is going to right. make this longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can see, you know, some of the new microchannel coil systems are very sensitive to charge. So if you put a three or five foot set of hoses on there a couple three times you've lost a fair amount of refrigerant it can actually impact the operation of that system. Yeah. So given the fact we're taking very little refrigerant out when we make this connection mm -hmm. is a benefit. Sure. And a lot of that newer, newer equipment. Uh, the other side of that for the temperature, here's our temperature probe. This is very narrow. So when you go up to the service valve, this is designed to be narrow enough to kind of go in between that insulation mm -hmm. and your valve. So mm -hmm. you have to start cutting that back because once you start cutting it, right, yes. it's just going to keep coming apart, right? right? Mm -hmm. So this has got a thermistor uh, inside for fast response time. And you'll notice that that's isolated inside. It doesn't stick out past the end, Okay. Okay, which is going to help it not be influenced by just the air temperature around it. We're going to just get our, our so tube temp you know, where we're, we're putting that on, on the refrigerant line. Great. Okay. So, and you probably noticed there's no readings on any of these, right? Uh, yeah. No I don't see any screens. I mean, I see a yep. flashing light, but that's about yep, it. That's just to indicate that that's on. Okay. So let's take a look real quick here. I'm going to just plug this up. So when we look at our app, we're going to have more, more of our readings here and we can even open up our second probe. Uh, just one thing too. I just, you know, since I just opened that one up, these stay paired with your device. Okay. So, you know, once you pair it, pair it up to your device, you shut it off. Next time you turn it up, you don't have to go through that pairing process again. That's nice. It, it remain, retains that. Okay. okay. So when we turn this on to our app here, uh, we're, we got a couple of different sides to this. Here's our air side. It's going to give us our delta T. We've got a target delta T on the system. If we hit our plus sign, that's also now going to give us dew point and it calculates the enthalpy okay. of, the, of the system as well. And then if we swipe over here, now we've got a refrigerant side. We can click on our little refrigerant drum here, and this gives our favorites, or up here in the upper right hand corner, you can change we can you... change from all our refrigerants. Currently there's more than 45 refrigerants mm -hmm. that are in this. Nice thing about it, as new refrigerants enter the market, because that's done from the app. You're updating it. Yep, you don't have to send this in to get it updated and say, oh, there's a new refrigerant out. I got to send my two in. Not in our case. Okay. okay that just updates over the app. Gotcha. Huh? So, so it makes it real convenient. Um, yep, let's go back here. If I, there we go. So, but this automatically calculates our superheat and our subcooling, um, which is what we need to know when we're charging that refrigerant system. Mm -hmm. up on on uh, typically uh, you know most techs are going to identify that hey if we've got a fixed metering device we're looking at our superheat mm -hmm. to get our proper charging 
if we've got an expansion valve, that's where we're looking for our subcooling. Yeah. Okay, and the fact that this calculates it, they don't have to get their chart out, they don't have to do the math and, and look at all that like they used to go with their Makes own Makes it a lot easier for them. Uh... So, yep. And this app is available free for either Android or the iOS operating system. Cool. cool. All right. Well, it seems like a pretty easy system to use and be able to get working right in the field. Yep, it is. It's great. And I tell you, you know, any more tools or just an investment, the faster that you can get that job done accurately mm -hmm. and onto the next project, you know, is, is more more benefit for you in the field to be able to get, get that next project. Sure. And batteries, I mean, I take it that this takes... Yeah, these take, take typical batteries. You just got a screw there in the back, slide it out, and then you've got your triple, your standard uh, you know, triple A batteries at the okay. plug in. So. Sounds good. Pretty straightforward. So, Mark, uh, we had a question come in about Measure Quick on one of our trainings we did recently. Does this product work with Measure Quick? The hub is compatible with the Measure Quick app. So, okay. if, so if you've got a contractor that has used that, because that there's multiple devices that will will work with some of the meters and you know and so forth that are out there on the market. Mm -hmm. Currently, just our as far as our products, the hub is compatible with that Measure Quick app. So, okay. And what are some of the benefits to be able to use that app with the system? Yeah, there, there's some additional features that they've got that you can share with people back at the office. Uh, so if you've got your service manager, then you know, you're out on a job and trying to figure something out. And you know, sometimes just a fresh set of eyes looking at a problem, you can share that back with it. You can tie it in with taking electrical readings. You know, mm -hmm. if they've got a meter that's compatible with that, now they can have their refrigerant readings, their sure. airflow readings, you know, and some electrical readings all you know, shared together as part of that. So so there's some benefits of that, that third-party app that this is compatible with. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions about this product, please reach out to us. Give us a call at 888-652-9663 or go online to our website at jacksonsystems.com. We're really excited to talk with you. We look forward to hearing all your stories that you have using these products out in the field. Talk to you soon.